Fear and hunger. Oh, you recognize this name, don't you? We do too. We made our journey through the dungeon, through Mahabra, not too long ago. Kill it with fire! Bro, that looks like every priest and politician ever. <laughs> it took us a long time to complete. A lot of do-overs. A lot of reruns. A lot of safe scumming. And I don't feel guilty about it. What? Oh, f Did they do that? It wasn't even up! And countless hours of suffering, followed by small slivers of hope that was quickly extinguished by seeing what lay ahead. It made us go through sadness, anger, regret, numbness, and even some sort of happiness. Yo! You did it! Did I actually? It was our first popular series, and probably most popular series so far. Hey, 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 hey. Eyes on me. Hey, now don't look at them. Anyway. As much as we enjoyed Fear and Hunger, we completed it. We couldn't get enough. We wanted more. So we turned our eyes into Fear and Hunger 2, Termina, its sequel. And this is how it went. Welcome to Fear and Hunger 2, Termina. Do that one more time, but like there is a little bit of a voice crack part right through. But <laughs> yes, that. <laughs> Welcome to Fear and Hunger 2, Termina. I'm so scared and hungry, bro. I'm s I'm de I need to devour things to get my fear and hunger back. Or wait, I don't know. <laughs> oh God damn it. You're I don't know what I'm doing. So All right. Bad at so so on the last series, I went in knowing like everything what was going on. Like I was kind of the wiki. I'm going in completely blind this time. I just know this game is probably going to be twice as long as the last one. <laughs> and it's going to be all you searching through the same four barrels every single time you pass shut up, by shut, them. Shut up. Shut up. I cut all that out. Don't worry. This is an ex-soldier, right. which probably means he was in the military when he was like, since he was 13. Yeah, I was going to say. Uh, he has been fighting in the war since he was 13. The ex-soldier excels at ranged combat and has great aim with most firearms. This is the occultist. The occultist focuses on creative use of the otherworldly powers. While not as strong as harmful as offensive skills, her abilities are no less impressive when used properly. This is the doctor. Somehow he could not keep his own eye. Oh shit! This is the, this is the mechanic <laughs> from Terraria. Oh is that God. Avdol? <laughs> yes! I am! Avdol! It looks like Avdol! Uh, this is a botanist, but who cares about flowers? And this looks like, um, what's his fucking name? Wait, 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 you skipped Titan. past him. What do you mean? What? Oh, uh, Annie? No. Like, Dude. Historia? The oh, Armand. Oh, yeah. okay. All right, I'm so dumb. And then this is just Jotaro. So, of course, obviously, like, the, the cultured individuals we are, we're just going with Jotaro, right? Of course we have to go with Jotaro, but we're not going to name him Jotaro. What are we going to name him? Uh, how about- Not Marco. How about Gelato? Hey, can I get some gelato? Is it spelled with a G? What? Isn't like the ice cream dish? I don't care. Yeah, it is. It is. But the name Joe. Uh, I don't care. Oh yeah, really yeah. Care. No, we're, we'll we'll play we'll play in the the medium mode. It's fear and hunger. We have to play fear and hunger mode. It's like a custard. A custard. Skip the character history. No, the soothing sound of the rail tracks, which is a very weird way to call them that. You were not used to such peaceful and tranquil atmosphere. We actually just went on a train ride <laughs> for the trip of baby was crying. <laughs> it, well, it was only for like 30 Bro, minutes. Bro, oh crying. my god, that was my plane ride back from Australia. You can't help but let your mind wander. You reminisce what has led you to this point in life. For the majority of your life, you've only known the streets of the Vatican City. This is actually the first time in your life you're traveling this far from the narrow and crowded alleyways. Things don't look that fancy anywhere else. Traveling is overrated, you think to yourself. In your earliest memories, you remember spending time with your parents. But then suddenly, you just didn't have parents anymore. Because they put you up for adoption. Okay, Batman. You can't remember what happened. Wait, what? They killed my parents. Do you not know Batman's origin? What? They killed my parents. He, he did not get put up for adoption. No, I didn't think that- we weren't talking about Batman <laughs> okay. until then. No, it's just because it's just Liz said, uh, you were like, put him up for adoption. And then Liz I was, was like, like Batman. To the, and then suddenly That's I didn't sick. have parents anymore. Okay. I'm Batman. All right. <laughs> Dad. 
Dad went home for the milk and never came back. Dad went out to the milk for heaven. Or, I don't know. <laughs> you can't remember what happened. But from one point onwards, it was just you and your sister against the world. Her name was Lele. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! No! You were still only ten years old, but you had to make a living. A burglar? An honest life? Or a pickpocket? Try to, uh, try to lead an honest life. Why not? You tried different odd jobs. The only thing common with all of them was that eventually you messed things up and got fired. Wow, thanks, game. Still, you were able to save up ten shilli- shillings. Oh, wait, That's is this shillings? Nothing. Oh, this is British. Sorry. The street skewed you hard. But as you grew older, oh you noticed that you started to tower over those who bullied you before. If someone still tried to do you dirty, you were quickly able to do them faster and harder. I mean, wait, able to give them a taste of your justice, also known as juice. Yawn. What? <gasps> because of your size and skills in fighting, you started to attract attention to the local street gangs that tried to recruit you as the muscle. This never sounded right to you. You, had you have been extorted of your measly salaries too many times. You didn't want to do the same to anyone. But turning down small time criminals only got you further in trouble. Almost every other night, you'd end up in the street fights. At one point you realized you were doing more fighting than actual work. Not to mention that's where you got most of your money too. You started to consider fighting as your job. Maybe it would be worth investing into more. You started to work out more regularly and follow a strict regimen. Bulk up in mass. Take the protein oh, powder. Oh yes. Add the protein powder to it. You add the protein powder in the blender, and then you you add some water and more protein hey, powder. You mean the fucking Jax Films video? Yeah. <laughs> and then we're gonna add some more protein powder. <laughs> All right. Uh, I say bulk up in mass. Let's just become a true giga chad. I'm trying to wear my glasses. The screen's all blurry for me. Yeah, I, it's blurry for me too. It's not just you. Oh yeah, you're supposed to be wearing your uh, blue light glasses. I have no idea where they went. Probably on your desk, because that's where I saw you. They disappeared. Just like your father's love. What are you talking about? I talk to my dad every day. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm just putting it out there because I feel projecting. the same way. Stop projecting. That's what I meant to say. I'm projecting. <laughs> I'm a bulk up a mess. <laughs> in the head. You, th you thought that bulking up could make you more resistant to punches. Although punches is kind of off screen, so it's actually just punch A. <laughs> punch so A. So you started eating like a bear. A very large gay man. Or at least tripling your calorie intake. That combined with lifting weights, the safety in your apartment, dragging horse carriages with your body along the other resistant exercises proved to have obvious effects. You managed to increase your defense with a couple of levels in the end. You're doing all right in fights, so much so that you started to build up a little. So much so that you started to build a little reputation on the streets. In no time, you moved on to the underground boxing rings, where there was more money on the table and less danger of the opponent pulling a knife out in the middle of a match. While you were busy in the ring, your sister had gone to a beautiful young lady who attracted all kinds of admirers. It would have meant trouble if it wasn't for your mean reputation. Most low life thugs in the streets knew that you'd never had to that they'd have to answer to you if they tried anything dodgy. That didn't mean that were the, that didn't mean that there weren't those who tried. She started to get close to with a known mobster, Ricardo Avocado. Nigacado <laughs> 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 Avocado? What? Nigacado Avocado. <laughs> he was the heir to the Avocado branch of family. <laughs> the Avocados <laughs> family. <laughs> The family Wait, was organized hold on. The Did you just make a mystery? Did you just make a More mystery like the Inc. Vatican reference? Vatican City. Please tell me you just made a mystery Inc. reference. I did. She did. I've been yes! watching it the last Let's week. Let's go. That show it's fucking slaps. Avocados. And they Thank continue you. to call them avocados the entire time. Dude, literally more people need to watch that show. All right, back to the game. It's back on Netflix. The family Fuck yeah, was. I'm rewatching it. The family was an organized body of criminals operating in the Vatican City also known as the Vatican City. In all intents and purposes, the family was a mafia. But they- In all intents and purposes, no period, the family was a mafia. But they also had deep ties to the church, which it in turn was running the country. Huh, sounds like the United States. So it was more- it was a bit more complicated. Despite being a mobster, Nick Ocado Avocado seemed <laughs> decent enough. He had a flirtatious, flattering way of speaking, a general got along with everyone, especially the food. You know, people are going to be watching this series, and they're going to try and remember what the characters' names were, and instead they're going to be thinking about a fat man who cries. <laughs> yeah. You want to see him be a mafia boss? <laughs> <laughs> he took notice in you- oh, Sorry, I, got, I, I had my little American accent. That's disgusting. 
He took notice of your skills and tried to casually recruit you into the ranks. You politely declined the offer. Since you didn't take the offer, Nick Ocado had another one in the latter. He proposed that if he'd hook you up with a real boxing trainer to get you in the next level. You again declined, but your sister insisted that you would at least try it out. You agreed. Things started to feel more professional the second you stepped inside the gym. The trainer, an elderly gentleman who had an impro imp impros impress impressive record of previous apprentices, was impressed by your new raw skills. He thought the best way to push you further would be to choose where to specialize. Offense. What do you think, Aaron? Um, didn't I'm we already get some extra? I'm thinking oh, accuracy. Oh yeah, you, you can know, make in this game, count. in this game, accuracy really matters. Like we, bro, the the biggest problem we had in the first game was like just Missing. we'd get some god tier weapon and it just would miss every other time. So fuck that, we're going to accuracy. You got a point. You learned bare fisted proficiency. Okay, his methods proved effective. Soon you had your first real bout in the ring and won the match with relative ease. Your sister and Nick Ocado Avocado were, were, were there to congratulate you. You continued with your winning streak. The hype around you was growing, just like the, the channel beats and bubblegum with their newest short. Slowly, you even started to believe the hype. But Nick Ocado was able to organize big matches one after another. You started spending more time inside the family quarters with the Ricardo and sister. Well, Without you said it right that time. It's no longer Nick Ocado. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. Without noticing you had been pulled in the criminal world, what started as a helping out a friend became more frequent occurrence. Soon, Nick Ocado showed his true colors as well. He had been building you up to a faded boxing match. Apparently, your next opponent was a former family member who had cut all ties with the organization. Your job was to kill him in a boxing match. You politely declined, but at this point, there was no turning back. Nick Ocado reminded that he got your sister back in his flat, and she'd feel it in her skin if you didn't comply. You didn't know what to do, so you found yourself in the ring with an ex-family member, and the bell rang. He was a tough opponent, but you managed to get the best of him. You were able to counter one of his attacks with a knockout hit. Things moved in slow motion as you saw. You are you are literally treading that line between Australian and British. Like it just you're somewhere. Yeah, because it's like that. really south. Yeah, it's like really really southern. It's it's not the pompish upwards. No, not at all. It's the all right. I'm from Concord. Fuck you. Things moved in a slow motion as you saw Nick Ocado in your corner, nodding all with a sly smile. You followed up your hit with another, and then another, and then another. It, it that anime today. sucks. Isn't this Bakura? No, no, another, another sucks. Oh, you didn't. It's stop. kind of it's it's kind of a good ironic watch though. You didn't even stop when the man hit the ground. The referee pulled you away with the with all he got before you stopped. The damage had already been done. You had killed the person. Oh no! You were devastated by all this, but kept it all inside. This was only the beginning. Nick Ocado had plenty of dirty work for you to do, and this point in plenty of leverage too. Your sister being the last resort every time you hesitated. Things had to change. Get rid of him. Last resort by, like, Papa Roach starts playing. <laughs> you learned killing intent. Ricardo was wary of you. He seemed to sense your killing intent from miles away. And that's why he avoided seeing you alone to the best of his abilities. He was too cocky to Too cocky like the people in Concord. No, I'm just kidding. To consider you a threat to though, as if he had you under his thumb. That proved out to be a grave mistake for him. You were there to meet Ricardo a dozen times, I'm sorry, Nick Ricardo a dozen times of his henchmen at a local club to discuss another one of your many tasks. You had been waiting for an opportunity to see him alone, but that opportunity never presented itself. Fair enough, you thought. The moment you got on up punching distance, Ricardo had a split second realization of what was about happening before you knocked him off his feet. Little rat tried to slither away but you grabbed him by his throat and kept slamming him on the floor until he stopped moving. In your rage, you lifted him up and threw him over the railing. He fell from the second floor into the center of the club's dance floor. You saw him fall head first to the ground, and you succeeded in what you set out to do. Getting ready for the club was secondary. You had a fight through a mob of Ricardo's, Nick Ricardo's goons. Somehow, you made it out from the deck door with only minor injuries the and ran as door. fast away as you can. You ran away with, from the crime scene. The problem was that now both the family and the law enforcement of the city were after you. Just then you received a full call from your sister. She had been sent to Nekakata's summer villa in the country of the Vin v Valand. Dude, Valand. Vinland Saga. I was about to say Vinland. <laughs> of Valand some days prior. You explained the situation to her, and the two of you decide to meet up in the country Randon, which somehow made it in Wait game. a minute! That's from the first game! There was no possibility of you living in the Vatican City anymore. You had to act fast before the police would catch up to you. What did you take with you before leaving the city? Food. 
Medical goods um, or luxury products? Medical. Not the luxury products, but I'm split between medical goods and food, to be honest. I'd say medical. We always need to heal ourselves. Yeah, That's but... true. Well, all right. Wow, that's say not food very much. Is, food is also important, but yeah. Yeah, now given the title Feared Hunger, you'd say Sibley Vials and a cloth fragment. Yeah, like, I, I, I doubt these these starting items matter that much. Like, we're still going to get a relatively same experience. You took the first train that left the country. The destination was an obscure little town called Preavel in the country of Bohemia. Like a bohemian rhapsody of some sort. <laughs> there was a rhapsody you could hear on the outside. Of on the speaker. <laughs> you had no idea where that place was, but you figured you could plan your trip better once you got there. If you like someone was watching you while you slept, like Jesus, and you should repent for your sins... An old pamphlet. There doesn't appear to be anything interesting printed on it. An old pamphlet. An old pamphlet. A pile of suitcases have been left here without supervision. Two of the previous cabin is locked from the other side. Looking through the window, the cabin seems pitch black. My name it's is black. Trevor Belmont. I'm out of practice. That's what Conrad you sound like. Belmont. The door won't open. It seems to be locked from the outside. There's some piss on the ground. Salary man. Excuse. What, what should Jodolo's uh, or Gelato's name or voice be like? Um. Like I don't know. You could just yeah. You could just make it like Jonah. Jonah, this here. Excuse me. Oh my god. Dot dot dot. No answer. Sumi masen. Okayo kusaimasu. You search through the luggage. You find duct tape. It fixes it's all not problems, spelled but not your child's marriage. <laughs> An old pamphlet. I'm I'm pretty sure duct tape is supposed to be spelled D-U-C-T, not duck. With a K. No, duct tape is a brand. <laughs> duct tape yeah, is a well, brand of duct. Tape. Some people also call it patching tape. Me mom does. Your mom's stupid. <laughs> you search the luggage. You find two lucky coins. How lucky are Yo. you? Yo. Yo. And they're both going to fail the next time you need them. <laughs> yep, they will. No, in this game. You search through the luggage. You find a green herb. Sorry, you got to pronounce it with the right way. The, the right way. hard herb. H. A pile of suitcases have been left without supervision. A wall of suitcases. Something feels off. Yeah, I didn't need the uh, I didn't need the game's text to tell me that. Is that not something I searched through? That's a lot of suitcases. It's a butterfly. For the Eat. Of people on the train. Eat the butterfly no. Who wants to do the janitor? You. I've been looking for you everywhere. You know what? I think <laughs> wouldn't Droop look like that? He wouldn't be that ugly. He wouldn't be that ugly. <laughs> Just where did you think you ran off to? Don't you understand the hurry we're in? Obedience. Wait, well, you didn't read, it. or did you just do the three dots? I didn't. Dot, dot, it dot. Went by really fast. Okay. I'm, okay, I'll do it in Jotaro's voice. Yoda, yoda, this is. Dota, dota, dota. Obedience <laughs> is key. That's the only way we'll be able to meet the quotas. Now back to your workbench. Watch my speed running skills. This is your last chance. Next time, it's punishing time! Oh, damn, maybe I should be a deathcore vocalist. Dota, dota, dota. Get busy! We got a tight deadline. If we don't make it, I'll have to get the next batch of cubes out of your back skin! Bueris. Literally. What you googling at? Sorry, I was just trying to Google how to make this thing. There's nothing to see here. Eyes on the cubes! Work! Or I'll rip those eyes out of your pretty face! <laughs> Use directional keys to assemble the cubes. Yeah, I'm gonna go, I'm doing it, I'm doing it, ooh, I'm doing it hard, yeah, I'm doing it, ooh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Hello, kitty cat. A girl in pink is trying to get your attention. I'm a girl! You really gonna read the uh, narration parts with the accent? <laughs> Are you suggesting that I like, not? Like, <laughs> this is literally everything with that accent. Are you suggesting I don't? I just, I just was like, damn, just like you're literally committed to every single. The bit table of that was full of cubes with various sigils called all around them. The cubes are hollow through, a hollow through, not hollow. Th Fuck! No, I said the wrong thing. The cubes are hollow though. They seem to be missing some parts still. Where do you think you're going? Godspeed, Spider-Man. 
He reminds me of the Where do you goblin, think but, you're going? But Sorry, I, I, I was very backed up when I read that line with some phlegm. What do you think is stabbed in his leg? Needles of some sort? I can't tell. Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's so. Okay. Stump arm. He looks like a yeah. really cursed Aang. Yeah. Yeah, he does look like Aang. <laughs> he looks like a cursed Aang. Yeah, he does. And this is what this happens. Is just when this he, is just Aang if he never got, like, if he never was the Avatar, like, he was normal. If Aang was a, um, if Aang was a, a drug dealer instead of an airbender. No, oh, I was about to say, I would have, oh, okay, all right, I'm not complaining. I'm, I'm happily proven wrong. I was just about to be like, I think you should take both the arms out first. Look at all the question marks. Yikes. It's probably have to have it must certain be, stuff to be able to do anything with it. Yeah, it must be like character specific or item specific. You find yeah, that yeah. shilling. Now we have 14 shillings. So if we really got if we got four shillings off that dude, we were being very underpaid. I'm I'm sorry, but it's very hard to understand what the menu says. Okay, you would also think that in our history of doing like bare knuckle boxing, murdering, you know, all of those crimes and shit, like we would have gotten quite a bit of money, right? Right? Yeah. I don't know. But we did leave our luxury goods behind, so. Dude, that guy is literally pinhead. Yoda, Yoda. I guess I can My be body his horse. I like the snake architecture. Are you voicing that character? I just said I could. Okay, I didn't. I couldn't hear. Ah, there you are. Wow, it sounds like you're trying to copy my voice for the mom and Andy and Lele for some reason. A mysterious person greets you in a mo oh, monotonous voice. I thought that was still them talking. Got you pulled out from that nasty place. You are going deep into that rabbit hole. Now you are safe under the beautiful green hue of the moon. Welcome to the moon tower. What is it going on? That is what I'm here for. To explain the situation you are currently facing. To explain the great once-in-a-lifetime opportunity that has befallen within your grasp. You get to take out a life insurance policy. You could save 13% or more on Geico car insurance. Since our words could not possibly reach my master, I speak in his behalf. And who might my master be? Well... For now, let's just say he is the delinquent one. <laughs> Rare. The trickster moon You know god. what you just remembered? The Majora's Mask? Is that what you remembered? No. Because that's what I just well, remembered. Yes, but I got another thing, too. So, I remember... I, I don't remember if it was, like, an animation or something, but... I remember seeing Joseph Joestar kicking someone in the balls and being like, Now I know what you're gonna say next. Ow! My balls! And then someone goes, Ow! My balls! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Anyway. And me? That's the you kind of thing that's pickle. really that is the kind of thing that's really only funny if you've seen JoJo's. Per like, Kale? like I'm cracking Perkle? up at your voice for him, but only because I'm a JoJo's fan. Like a normal like just someone who hasn't watched JoJo's won't get this at all. <laughs> just I know what you're gonna say next. Ow, my balls. <laughs> Ow, my balls <laughs> And me? You can call me Parkle. I am just a humble servant of his celestial Actually, majesty. from now on, refer to me as Pickle, because I kind of look like one. You are the dreamer. He is the dream. And I am the Pickle. <laughs> <laughs> look at me, Moon God. I turned myself into a Pickle. I turned myself into a Pickle. I'm Pickle Perkle. I'm Pickle Perkle. My master has invited 14 of you to join us in this jubilee of cosmic proportions. 14 candidates, but only one true victor. Yo, we all got invited to go in the jubilee YouTube channel? Holy shit. Opportunity Wait, of playing, a lifetime. Uh, we, are we playing that hit series known as um, Squid Games? The Festival of Termina is upon us. What is this festival? It is a festival to give you, the humans, a peak to gander and a chance to reach for a illustrious peak heights. A peak to grandeur. Grandeur, oh. Yes. Grandeur. Do you want me to reread that? No, it's fine. Illustrious. Illustrious <laughs> <laughs> heights. Illustrious heights. <laughs> 
<laughs> this, those, those higgets that we illustrated. The festival. To <laughs> Look, I'm drawing it right festivals. now. Like a fast, a festival. <laughs> a festival. This must all be very confusing. To uh, don't you mean confusing? <laughs> <laughs> I won't burden you with any more information at this very moment. Informatian. Just head towards the tower. The tower? That is all you need to know <laughs> for now. I will gladly answer questions once you get there. Kestion. Question? Qu question? I don't think that's how you pronounce it. Unki. Kestion's Unki. Dude, Unki from the first game? Dude, Un <laughs> Unki? <laughs> Instead of Anki, it's Unki? But until that, let us meet again under the moonlight. The Moan Legate. The Moonleet? <laughs> you walk a up suddenly. <laughs> Was that all just a dream? Was it all just a dream? The bloody cassar on your hands sends a shiver down your spine. Ah, uh, shiver. Shiver. <laughs> sends a shiv <laughs> uh, down your spine. There's a fucking knife in your back. <laughs> the shiv falls down your spine. Uh, that really hurts. Just what is going on? The train. It seems to have stopped. You know, now that you said pickle, I'm really craving pickles. <laughs> Dude, and I'm I've always got a craving whole pickles. Jar in my fridge, and I can't eat because Aaron said no. A bunch of pickled perkles? Yeah, I'm, bro. The, that audio is gonna sound awful if you're ASMR chewing pickles into the mic. <laughs> <laughs> like, but do you Aaron, not see why I said you. that's a bad idea? You don't want to hear yeah. me chewing on the pickle. <laughs> Uh, no, I don't think anyone wants to hear <laughs> ASMR chewing pickles, except for ASMR fans. But hey, if we want to start BSNB ASMR, then Dude, we should make a BSNB ASMR podcast. That. It's just an hour of me eating. No, it's just, it would just be us discussing anime, and I'm just like, and you're just like... Bro, I watched Spirited Away recently, for the first time. Dude, great movie. I was so confused. Dude, I, mean, I just gotta... Yeah, it, I gotta... It, it's... It's one just, of those movies where it has a billion metaphors, and even I, who's seen it like three times, am like, yeah, I still learn new things about what I'm watching when I watch it. Like, because ultimately it's just a metaphor for just growing up in puberty and shit like that. You see, it's a perfectly suited for resting. You just need to clear out all the papers out of the way first. You find a combat Marvel. Ma <laughs> I said, Marvel? A combat manual and a preheval map. Emmanuel. Manuel. The man in the series is talking to himself. He seems, only he seems to be completely lost in his own thoughts. I see the demons everywhere. I'm, I'm late. I'm late already. So late. What am I going to do? I guess the only thing I can do left is shit and come. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck? Man in the checkered pants. Who wants to do that one? That's the doctor. Uh, so, uh, so that must... Oh, wait, he's the doctor. Oh, he got to give him an edgy voice because he's like Kaneki from Tokyo Ghoul. So, that must be the best course of action for now. That fourth damn Chaos Emerald. You interrupt the discussion. Girl, the pigtails. Oh, the big Chad got up. I was thinking of uh, doing Miss Piggy. Oh, the big Chad got up. Okay, I like that. Yeah, let's do that. Who are you? What is it going on here? You must be just as clueless as the rest of us. The train left us all here at the outskirts of the city. Why didn't I do it for you? Why didn't I do all it the for train you? personnel? Everyone gone. No explanations. No breathing. Suffocation. <laughs> Still no breathing. Dying. <laughs> no oxygen. Literally Please passing help. out. Guys, I can't finish the song. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Dota, dota, dota. <laughs> we decided to stay and wait here for a while for the Papa Roach pop-up show to start. Someone has to come to the train sooner or later. So if you're not in a hurry, I recommend just taking a seat inside and trying to relax. Maybe we could introduce ourselves? My name is uh, Jotaro. My name is Miss Piggy. <laughs> My name is Olivia. Lovely to meet you all. Okay, Pompous. You can call me August. Kahen Sauer, a journalist on duty. This <laughs> German? Sauer. It's German name. Mm. Hey, I'm Henrik. 
Hi, I'm the blonde one. <laughs> I'm blonde. My hair is yellow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're going to see him read it. He's still talking. Oh, and this mystic gentleman over here is Osa. <laughs> That's literally just Sonic. <laughs> <laughs> It was Osa, right? Yes, I am. <laughs> huh, dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. Silly man. Just like me. I'm pretty sure it was. <laughs> we were the first to wake up, of course. Silly Billy. You silly Billy, <laughs> thinking you're so cool with your hair flip. <sighs> dot, dot, dot. Before you came out, we were talking about this. You saw a peculi peculiar. Peculiar. <laughs> peculiar. <laughs> you saw. <laughs> you saw a peculiar. You saw a peculiar nightmare as well, didn't you? How did you know that? Everyone saw the same dream before waking up on the train. The moon, the girl in the pink dress, the festival of Termina. <laughs> imagine, imagine if just like one of them wakes up and they they're talking about the dream. And then someone else just pretends to play along. And then everyone's like, everyone is like, wait a minute, should I have had this dream? And they all just collectively start playing along and pretending like we all have the same dream. And they're right. all just killing each other for no reason. Yeah, I like that headcanon. I like, that, says, that's my theory. There was even a couple of siblings in the back holding a talisman in their hands. Oh, God. Hey, our audience will get that reference. So we, we, can, we can reference Andy and Lele. A lot of you people probably hear from Andy and Lele. It all felt too real to pass off as just a dream. Not this talk again. We should have asked the army pig, that Bremen pig. He was in, he was in way, way too much of a hurry to leave. I bet he knew something. This smells like a sadistic army experiment. Sounds exactly like something Bremen army would be part of. They had similar hallucinogens experimented on war prisoners. Now that this war is over, they have to get their guinea pigs elsewhere. I wish I had your capacity and feist, but I really have a hard time. I'm too time. busy being edgy over here smoking. <laughs> I'm too busy trying I... to kill my lungs as a doctor. I have a really hard time believing every conspiracy theory floating around. Unlike this one man named Alex Jones. You know how they're putting chemicals in the water and making them frank and gog frogs gay? <laughs> and the blonde guy's just like, floating around like the moon? Just kidding. Obviously, we all know the moon is a projection onto the flat earth dome above us, right? <laughs> yeah. And the moon landing was faked, right? <laughs> Actually, on, the earth is donut shaped. You guys should know that. The sun is Actually, a giant we're on the back the of a giant turtle. Down on us. Oh, he just said I've covered <laughs> wars, you know. That was totally a Frank West reference. I've covered wars, you know. I'm just say I I don't think I don't think you read that line. No, I forgot I forgot to read it, but is there a way to go back? Shit, no, I don't think there is. I don't think so. Oh well. But she's she they said she covered wars, it. you know. And I was like, that's totally a Frank West reference. I don't need some flaky eye patched foreigner telling me what's possible and what's not. You haven't seen what I've been do what I've seen during the past few years. I've covered wars too, you know. What, yes, it, no, totally no, 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 that's me, reference. that's me. I've covered wars too, you know. All men and women for the past decade or two have covered wars. What's your point again? I've seen my fair share of hallucinogens as a doctor, and I can tell from a very first-hand experience that there are no chemicals that can create visions that vivid. Especially visions that are identical with this many people. Like I said, one person said the dream, one person thought it'd be funny to play along, and then everyone was like, wait a minute, wait, wait, wait a minute, uh, 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 the sun, I didn't have the this sun dream. The going to explode. Uh, yeah, mm-hmm, yep, uh, yeah, I did, I did, yeah, they're just faking, you know. <laughs> Kareen says, uh, hesitant to German noises. You can feel the tension raising between these two people. Uh, in German. <laughs> size in German. <laughs> size in German. <laughs> as much as I'd like to it, I don't have time to play happy compass with you people. I have a job to do. Which way is the city? <laughs> yeah, like I would know. Look up there over the forest top. I guess I do know for some reason. 
Can you see the tower standing erect? Erect. In the oh my! I knew you were gonna do that. That tower marks the center of Prehavel. Oh. Or Prehavel, or I don't know how we're pronouncing it. You can I, hike I through the forest. Prehavel. Prehavel. All right, that's or what we're going. Maybe it's just Prevel. Prevel. You can <clears throat> you can hike through the forest to get there. It's you not that hike. far away. <laughs> you can hike. <laughs> like Hide from Tokyo Ghoul. <laughs> Slow panoramic shot. Bro, I just, uh, the, dude, the production quality, just the vibe, the atmosphere, just everything, just when compared to the first game, this was like, oh my God. It's like taking off the VR goggles and like exploring the real world. She's not playing with you. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> All right, then. If I see anyone, I'll tell them what you guys are waiting here. Have fun finding a scoop from that sleepy town. I thought he said have fun finding a poop. <laughs> and I was like, what? You know where to find us if anything comes up. Uh, I need to be going at all. Sure thing. Don't let us slow you down. Wow, a greener. Salary, what is dude? this? <laughs> Resident Evil? Yeah, we're just gonna walk with him. I guess why not? This is a lovely stroll. I got goulash. We got an egg. See, see, if we had chosen food, already obsolete. We already got two fabulous pieces of food right there. Uh, uh, good, good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. It's 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 Kita Tanaka. Uh, good to make your acquaintance. I like Tanaka Kid out. <laughs> It's really troublesome what has come of our train trip, especially when you have a big meeting scheduled at the city. Attack him. Well, no, want to travel together. More party members. Do you uh, want to travel together? I I'm afraid I will have to refuse your company. Then you shall they die. Didn't, <laughs> they, they didn't make a sprite for my character. I'm actually not that ma I'm not. I'm not that important. I, I really need to hurry, and I think I'll do the best alone. I'm pretty sure that he's not playable. If you'd excuse me, I really need to go now. I really need to hurry to this one spot where I'll spin around in circles for a while. Are you enjoying eating my foot? And he's gone. Somehow. And maybe he went there. Oh, damn, the we already got a bed. With my foot, and every time I, like, put my foot on her belly, her little feet stick up in the air. It's hilarious. A wound out bed full of dirty dishes. Sleeping here is the last thing on your mind. Search the box for anything useful. Ow. You find a blue vial. Turn it. You find rotten meat. The maggots crawling inside the piece. Well, it's still plus one food. You find so, carrot top. I mean, ooh, I think that's the salary. Never mind, that's the salary. Oh, man. hello. No, that is the salary man. Uh, what is that? What on earth is going on? It's called murder. You ever heard of it before? Tasty. I'm sorry. No. Let me explain it to you in deeper detail. It's called okay. killing people for no reason. What does that mean? What? I don't know what killing means. They, they, they are dead. Which no. I also don't know what that means. Sh should we report about this to someone? The local police? I don't think there uh, is any police in these parts. Whoa, is that a uh, is that an alchemical circle from the hit anime Full Metal Alchemist? Full Metal Alchemist. Full, Full Metal, Metal Alchemist. Alchemist. An empty bucket. Oh, sorry. Let me, let me get my posh concordaxic back on. A bucket. A bucket. Dear God. Dear God. But wait, there's more. A bucket. No. An empty bucket. It looks like it fell over on its own. Or it didn't. An empty bucket. It's been gathering rainwater here. Then it's not empty. <laughs> yeah. Or maybe it's empty. Maybe it's empty of things that actually... Whoa. Happen. Foreshadowing. You could There's actually use it coffee. if you had something to draw with. Uh oh, when we get a like, I don't know, paintbrush or some bullshit, we come back here. There's a ritual circle called here. You could actually use it if so you had something to draw with. Yikes! Oh damn! Holy shit! Don't don't go back there. Wait. <laughs> I accidentally pushed the button. <laughs> Wait, I accidentally put pushed the left button when I was trying to go right. Yeah, my thumb slipped. Because I've got big, meaty claws. I I gouged my eyes out, uh, but I still see the green hue. I don't know. That's what I. That's the voice I imagine when I see that fucking. Sorry, let's give right me there. a popular now. What? 
Wait, hold on. Maybe, maybe we, maybe we'd make the voice like he, like he can't fully use his mouth. He's like, oh, I gouged my eyes out, but I still see the green hue. Green hue, eh? It devours everything. In the corroding my dick. Oh, Chin Chin, the man is crying hysterically. He has scratch marks all over his skin. His skin is hanging loose on his cheekbones. What is it going on here? What? What? We are the ones who survived. Okay. Okay. All right. So I, I can see that. Based. I can see you're not dead. I'd be concerned if you weren't the one to survive. The person's barely alive. You can already hear the death rattle coming from him. Barely arrive. Wait. He's <laughs> found a severed arm and leg. Yummy. Oh, Annie and Lele? Is that you? The flickering light of the bonfire soothes you despite the horrors waiting you outside. Rock. Spooky bear traps. Funny villagers, don't they know that bears don't live around here? Brr. That's an elevator. No, dude, it reminds me of the fucking, like, Da Vinci twins, like, da Vinci? like, Instagram. No, but, like, when they make videos where it's just like, Oh, no, that dog is coming towards us, and it's just, like, a moose slipping on fucking, like, ice. It burns. Burns cold. Then because that we'll... makes sense. What is going on here? The moon. It scorched this land. It scorched us, too. Oh, I'm boohoo. Oh, Lord, give cabbage. <laughs> a cabbage for the little girl. So happy to say that again. And a cabbage for the little girl. It's crawling under my skin. Crawling. Crawling. <laughs> itchy, itchy. These wounds, they will not heal. I scratch and scratch and scratch and scratch. The cold light that burns. You are the same. You'll see. You'll come to understand. Sure, you are the same. Um, actually, sir, no, I'm one of the 14 chosen. Uh, thank you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, fuck. Dude, Autumn, you gotta, you gotta fucking read. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm ready to defend myself, just so you know. Yeah, fuck that. I, we do not need to fight people right now. There you go. All right. Mm, is that barrel worth it? I mean, it actually, no, we can get it. We can get it. Golden chanterelle. Look at that. And because it's made of gold, we'll be able to sell it for a lot of money. Right? Isn't that how the game right. goes? No reaction. You cannot hear anything from inside. Open it. Go down. The tunnels lead into an ever-pressing darkness. The barrel feels heavy. The cork is open. I'm sorry. The smell is neutral. No idea what the liquid is based on that. The shelves are full of spare parts for different machinery. You find scrap metal. Shelves are full of spare parts for different machinery. You find pressure plate. You find shelves are full of different things. Pressure plate! Rabble, rabble. Rabble, 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 rabble. There's an electric panel here. You don't really know what to do with it. The door won't open. It seems locked with an electric lock. Why the fuck oh, not? Oh yeah? Wait, did well, you... I'm gonna make the door bleed! Did you equip that... Yeah, the Scarab. Or whatever it was called. Kassara? Oh, yeah. I don't know where the fuck that came from. Kassara. Yeah. Katara? Avatar the Last Hamburger? <laughs> the Last Hamburger? Avatar what? the Last <laughs> Hamburger? <laughs> 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 It's just, it's just Avatar, but it's Nikakava Avocado instead of Aang. <laughs> <laughs> he just sees a hamburger and goes, Wah! Oh my god, that's hilarious. Oh my god, I love that. <laughs> I genuinely don't hamburger. know where, where does Scarab come from? Why did I think that that's what the Kassar was named? Uh, because... What the fuck, what the fuck you... is a Scarab? I know what that is, and I scarab don't... Scarab is what? a beetle. Your mom's a scarab. Why did I think that? Okay, I don't know. I I don't know. I rats. <laughs> Lots of rats. That made me think of the um, dungeon crawler that we were playing. What was it called? Uh, divinity. No, the little pixel one. The one where you you fight the. Oh, barony. Yeah. You found a soul devour necklace. That seems pretty cool. I'm a fucking equip it. That game took so long to get to where we needed to be, and then there was more. <laughs> Ooh, 82%. 82% resistance or 80% damage dealt? 
Meet the Eat pie. Eat the cat. <laughs> what the fuck? Why the I don't fuck? know why my voice went that high like that, but. Aaron, you shouldn't what be using fuck? your female voices. Wait, yet. did you did you go in the the house there, right I there? Did not. What the fuck is wrong with what you? What the fuck? Kermit, what the hell, man? The filthy shack. The filthy schlack. We gotta so wake go up ahead. and face reality. Well, the head seems to rot. You know, this head looks several weeks old, while the most recent one seems to be freshly cut. Dirty dishes. <laughs> and nothing else, just dirty dishes. That dark corner of the unwanted and undesired, where they dump the disease stillborn and now the moon scorched. Welcome, hey, bro. fresh one. Welcome to the shit pit of free hell. All right. Nice mm. suit decoration you have here. Under the ever-watching eye of the dead. I want more, though. I want the one who swept half the old town down, the woodsman. And I want the one who condemned us down here. I want the filthy priest. I want to see um, what I could I do. very much want to, like, do that quest line. Show no remorse. Let the blood flow. Wow. Wow. I like the fact that when you get like quests and stuff in this kind of game, like it doesn't add it to like a quest log and everything. And you really just have to, it helps for the immersion to not have like 30 quests when you open your, your like inventory. You know what I mean? Like I like just someone told me something and I just went there. Like I didn't set a waypoint or anything like that. I just went there, you know, cause I, I listened to your instructions saying go South. So I just legit just went South. You know what I mean? Got duked. Mm -hmm. Broke his ankles. Penny bun. Tomato. But he's about to come and bite you in the ass. Shillings. Don't. Blue herb. Egg. Not if I'm wrong. Not if I'm faster than him. <laughs> Jeez, you are feral today. <laughs> Sorry. G gelato just like gelato uses normal English. Challenge level impossible. <laughs> oh, it's just a goat. I found a goat. <laughs> He's like a car. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's you. Just what the hell is going on in this town? Something very bad. The locals, did you get to talk to? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm just glad I took my pistol with me. It's a Sig Sauer, which is why I'm named Sauer. This scoop is just much, just became a lot bigger. I have to be careful of what I wish for in the future. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do now? <laughs> <laughs> they don't do anything. I work alone. I have a scoop to investigate. Now the stakes have gotten higher. That's all. You're still focused on that. <laughs> hey, I wouldn't get anything done if I ran back home with my tail between my legs every time things escalated. This is between. nothing. I have seen Vavos. Should we kill her? Um, well, Mr. Moon Guy, uh, whatever his name was, Pickles, yeah. Pickles, Pickles said we had to kill. Yeah, Pickles said we had to, like, basically, you know, Squid Games everyone, and we had to be the sole survivor. Well, that'd be more Hunger Games, but... I don't know. We're either look. We're either gonna have to kill her or have someone else kill her, or just I don't know. I think I think we should just go for it. Let's just get it out of the way first. You know. Well, she has this little pistol. I can't be that that she bad. She's huge compared to me. Yeah, she. Well, okay, that's how all that's how all enemies are. You know. I've killed before too. Don't think for a second I wouldn't have guts to use this pistol. I've covered wars, you know. <laughs> yeah, I I've shot people. It's I've. If you don't believe me, see, see, I wasn't able to kill you, but you know. Oh, what do you really? Do? You're gonna, you're gonna, you you want you're gonna, armies. you think, you think you're gonna be able to shoot us now? Did you, you gotta rev up? Remember, that's the new thing. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get my full rev up. There we go. Ah, uh, there you go. Oh, wait, no, yeah, there you go. Oh yeah. Kachow. Fuck Gelato yeah. Well, that was fast. You absorbed the endless soul. Sorry, it's German now. Yeah, search her. Stop beating her, she's dead. 
you get six Bro, nine million okay. bullets. Okay, remember, like remember the harvestmen from last time. You want to beat everyone that you kill, just in case, you know. Because if you don't beat the harvestmen, that's, I think that's the one one fucking enemy that would get back up if you didn't beat it. Wait, what does the uh, what does the soul devourer necklace do? I don't remember. Gives you uh, well, resistance. otherworldly, eighty-two percent. Jesus Christ! Yeah, we're, we're trying to search the barrels, though, right? <laughs> That's what I'm trying to do. I think we gotta go. I think you gotta go left of it, like down into the left, like around here. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah. Ah, wow, rotten meat. Got a lot. Shilling, six shilling. Yeah, okay, it really shows you how awfully, like, criminally underpaid you were. When you can find six shillings in a random box in the middle of the yeah, and, and we started with ten. The entire room is focused on the television set. Too bad it's useless because of the lack of electricity. Can and a the room focus on something? Piss then? bowl. It's a dusty radio receiver. It doesn't seem to work. The wardrobe doesn't seem to have anything useful in it. Whoa, Liz! Hello. I missed you. She hasn't spoken for like twenty minutes. You miss me? Yes. Miss the sad. silence. Aaron, I officially like you better now. <laughs> Damn. Better than your own wife. Jesus Christ. You aren't even married yet, but better than your own wife. Mushroom stew. It's all right. I'll torture her later. Mushroom stew. Good. Beat that door. Ugh. You're like the size of a halfling. You're three apples tall. <laughs> Smurf. <laughs> Let's see if we can go in that one. Oh, we can. Awesome. I was expecting no. Looks like this bucket has been used as a nighttime toilet. Mmm. Yummy. Soup. The lamp doesn't turn on. There doesn't appear to be electricity. A smell of mold emanates from the wardrobe. I almost said eliminates. <laughs> Emanates. The bed looks to be in bad shape and very uncomfortable. <laughs> Uh-oh. God fucking damn it. Of course. And he got the dr oh salt hey. the villager. Uh no you don't sir. Yeah get no 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 well mm, that's true. But I was gonna say we gotta get that arm. Re no rev up and kill the arm because like that. I'd say rev up once and then go for the arm or twice yeah. Because that needs to go. There we go. Yeah, just torso. Oh, he can't still attack us. God damn it. Alright, rev up twice and kill him. Not his leg, god damn No, fuck! Oh, shit. Why did it default to his leg? God damn it. It's just... Oh, it's fuck. One. We probably could have killed him there. Ugh. Alright, well... Wait, wait, wait. Oh, I was about to say that that we we rest with 35 hit points. We might have, I was to say we might as well heal up first, but Oh, well, there's a guy there we haven't seen. Yo, before. what's up, Pickles? Welcome back. Seems that you are very much acquainted with your fellow contestants already. Very delightful to see such progress already. Keep up the pace. The festival won't last forever. I have no time to waste with you. Oh, yes, of course. Please, let's get on with your business here. How may I best aid you in your quest? Sava. There are thirteen souls left. And so, the fourteen are no more. Splendid. And it is only the first day of the festival for you. Could we actually have one with potential on our hands? Head to the tower. Let the blood spill. As the fourteen is reduced to one, so opens the gates to the Court of Rare. Uh huh. Bare fisted proficiency. I read that as bare fisted prophecy, and I was about to be like, that sounds like the most badass thing I've ever heard. I guess bury the trauma will prevent you from your mind going out, maybe? I don't know. All right, so I think that since we've saved, also, um, I guess time advances when you save. So I think we should be very, very careful about that. And like only save when we really, really are satisfied with like what we've done. Um, I don't know, man. I think that which, 82% should be uh, very good. Um, oh, yeah, definitely. Resistance. Um, but uh, I think that'd be a good place to end the episode because it's been 
quite a minute, and we've hit the first big save point. So hell yeah! Well, thank you so much hell for yeah. watching. Yes. Thank you so much we for whopping. Wa- 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 <laughs> thank you so much for whopping. Um, <laughs> <laughs> whopper, 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 whopper. We'll whop you in the next video. Bye. Bye. We have strapped into play this entire game, so get ready for the wildest ride BSN Bubblegum has ever taken you on.